Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create a single flow that merges Word documents together and converts the merge result to a PDF. Before we get started, it would be awesome if you could like the video and subscribe to our channel. We'll start by clicking Create and selecting the Instant Cloud Flow option. Just so we can have better control over our data, we're going to create a manually triggered flow that merges and converts file inputs. Let's begin designing our flow by clicking on the manual trigger step and then adding in at least two file inputs. We can name these inputs if we want, or we can just leave them blank. I like to add a text input called file name in here so I can give custom file names for each manual conversion. Next, let's add a new action in our flow, and then let's type cloudmersive into the connector search bar. Let's scroll down until we find the cloudmersive document conversion connector. Let's click see more to view the actions list, and let's scroll down this alphabetical list until we find an action called merge multiple Word docx together. This action is optimized for two or more files, and another action just a bit further down is optimized for two files only. I'm only using two files in my demonstration, but if you're using more than that, you can use the merge multiple action instead. Let's click on our merge action, and let's take a quick pause to talk about authorization. We'll need a free Cloudmersive API key to authorize our API calls, and we can get one of those by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website. That'll give us a limit of 800 API calls per month, and we'll be able to use that API key to access any resources on the Cloudmersive API platform. Now we can quickly configure our Word document merge. Our first file content bytes and file name go in the first two fields here, and our second file content bytes and file name go in the following two fields. If we select the merge multiple action instead of this one, we'll follow the same process for up to eight additional inputs. Our docx merge is good to go, so let's now introduce our PDF conversion step. Let's add a new action, and let's once again find the Cloudmersive document conversion connector. This time, we're scrolling down the actions list until we find an action called Convert Word Docx Document to PDF. We can click on it once we find it. In our File Bytes field, let's enter dynamic content from our document merge step. And then let's enter a random file name in our second field. This one doesn't really matter. Now we're all done with our PDF conversion and we can create our file. I'll be creating my file in a OneDrive for Business folder, so I'm quickly setting up that action in my flow. If we created a text input for our file name like I did, now's the time to use that but we just need to remember to put a PDF extension after our dynamic content if we go that direction. We can fill the file content field with output content from our words and PDF conversion action. Now we can save and test our flow. Thanks to our manual inputs, we can quickly grab files from anywhere in our file system to merge and convert to PDF. When all is said and done, the flow should run in a few seconds, and just like that, we now have a PDF containing content from two merged Word documents in our system. That's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. I've included a link in the video description below to contact our sales team if you have any additional questions.